Hi guys and welcome to episode 11 of the Pixie Pearls and Knit podcast. This is my podcast, I'm Sibylla, your host about knitting, crocheting, all my crafty adventures and the life adventures I face in Italy currently. Uh, I'm living in Italy, Aviano, um, with my husband Anthony, our son Florian, our two cats, and soon we'll add another little one to the mix. Um, let me get all the info out of the way first. Um, you Everything I talk about, all the info and notes, links you can find in the description box below. And I put it in the Ravelry group as well. The Ravelry group is the Pixie Pearls in It podcast. Um, just come and join and you can also find me on Ravelry as Pixie Pearls and Knit and on Instagram as Pixie Pearls and Knits with an S at the end. Um, I'm fairly active on Instagram and on Ravelry I keep all my um, projects up to date. Um, I want to add that I'm not sitting um, on a chair or the bed today. I'm actually sitting on like an exercise ball. Um, so if that's a little off and I seem a little wobbly, that's because I'm not sitting on a sturdy surface. But it does my hips a lot better to not sit on that all on um, the chair all the time. Um, yeah. So that's all the infos. Oh, let's jump right in with all the good nitty stuff. I have two, well, one work in progress to show you. Oh, here. So, this is technically a half object. So, I'm currently working on all the Christmas knit, Christmas knits. Uh, this is a sock I'm making for my brother-in-law, my youngest brother-in-law. And he wanted a pair of socks, so I let him pick the main color too. I p picked a few colors out and then I'm sending pictures and said, choose which one you like the most. Um, and this is the, oops, I'm holding it upside down. The, just a plain old stockinette vanilla sock. We have a two by two. Cuff and a fish lips kiss heel. I'm using Felici, Knit Picks Felici in the mint chocolate chip colorway and the, the mini I'm using for the contrasting cuffs heels toe is uh, from Geektastic Fiber. I believe it came in a sock kit with like a Ravenclaw. Yeah, I think it was the Ravenclaw sock kit. I ordered from her once. So, yeah. I still have a few ends to weave in, but... So that, that's the first one and I started the second one already too. Uh, I have to admit it feels a little weird to me to knit socks in a size 12. Because I wear a size 6. So for me to knit anything bigger than that is slightly strange. But uh, I guess it's normal for other people so yeah. But it was still a fairly quick knit. I think I knitted, knitted this in like a couple days. And usually I knit socks on um, either circular or DPNs in like a 2.5 to 3 millimeter um, needle. Yeah, and the sock currently lives in a Knit Picks bag. This is Hate Made as Love. And this is what the color looks like on, oops, on the ball. So that's that. And then I did do a swatch for another Christmas project. Which that's not due until Christmas. Christmas don't have to mail it out. Because I'm making the Garden Gnome hoodie by uh, Knitting Expert Design, so Mina Phillips uh, for Florian. And I started the swatch yesterday evening. And I really like how the colors working out and this is ignore it's a hand bound ball um so please ignore how messy it looks 
The Skeetastic Fiber Yarn, again, in her Star Worsted base, I believe. Yes, I think it's called Star Worsted. And this is the Valkyrie colorway. Yeah, I really can't wait to start the hoodie for Florian. And uh, like I said, I really, really, I get this really nice look for you guys. Really like how this is working up. The pattern was designed for variegated yarns. So, <laughs> the ball just took off. Yes, so the design, it was designed for variegated yarns in mind. That's what it says on the pattern, so. I figured, you know, why not? Um, yeah. That's that for work in progress. I have one of your socks to do and uh, the hoodie. Um, that's all the, no, and a hoodie and hat. That's the, the Christmas knits I still have to do. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I already finished. So, I did the Toque November, so the November hat by Lelaine Coco. Um, and this is, um, Fisher Wallet. Let me see, I have a label somewhere here. Of course. Now all my labels, oh no, there it is. All my labels are gone. So, Fisher Wallet Nora is a colorway. This is a German company. Um, uh, it's 100% wool. And this is, I think they're in how old you are. And this blue and the gray is both. Same kind of yarn. And I did not buy the yarn myself. It was actually from my mom. So when I started this hat, I, Smarty Pants, did not check on Ravelry what weight it is. I just guessed and thought it was not a DK weight as pattern instructed. I started to hold a double. And then I was like, this is, feels too thick. And then I look on Ravelry and guess what? It's a DK weight. Yeah, so I did all the holding a double work for nothing. Um, because when I was like in like the third row or something at the color work, I'm like, this feels too thick. That's not right. Um, but the pattern is really, really nice. It's a free pattern too and super easily adaptable. This was supposed to be for my brother-in-law, for my middle brother-in-law. But because my gauge is so tight on the color work, it won't fit him. So I think I have to add a couple rows and then um, go up a needle size or another needle size or half a needle. I have to go up in a needle size for sure to make this fit for him. So this will now be a birthday present for Florian. He loves hats, so. To put them all on all on and off all the time he loves that so um yeah we'll just be a gift for him that's fine that's not a problem it fits him like perfectly um yeah and that's super cute in it like i said and then the other finished object i have is a pair of socks and there goes the yarn again okay so there's a pair of socks for my mother-in-law and it's a fish lips kiss heel, two by two rib. And this is the patent scroll, and I have the label somewhere. There it is. I'm all over the place today, sorry. So the patent scroll socks. Uh, this is the brown rose marl colorway. And for the heel, let me look at this guy, this is gorgeous. Uh, it's a Geektastic Mini, Fibers Mini, that I got in the last year's advent calendar. I just think this looks so good. This green looks so good and contrasty to this pink, rose, and grayish colors. Like, it gives it a really nice pop. Yeah, so these are for my mother-in-law. They're a Christmas gift. Um, I might make her a second pair. Actually, I'm not sure yet. Because <sighs> um, I feel like those might be a little loose. I don't know. I have to try. I I'll have to probably wait and see 
She'll come visit us hopefully in January and then she can let me know if those did fit or not and then I can make her a new pair or an extra pair if I need to. Yeah. So that's that. Works in progress. Finished objects. It's not quite as much as I would like to show you but there's still quite a little bit, you know. So let's go to mail. I did order from my friend Amanda Etastic Fibers before she closed her shop because she's moving a whole bunch of fingering yarn. Uh, and it just arrived in time for the podcast, so let me show you guys real quick. So all of these schemes are in her vein and fingering base, which is 100% superwash merino. So this is the first one. It's called Out Damn Spot. And I really like this purple in here. Um, all her yarn is fandom references, but I don't know this one on top of my head at least. If I go on her webpage and look it up on her Etsy shop, then I would know, but I forgot. And then the next one I got is the uh, uh, Looking for Nargles. Hello, I, and this one I get. It's clearly put a lot of good. Yeah, look at this. There's a purple again that I like so much. Yeah. And then the next one I got is the John Locke color. So yeah, we got some blue in it. And I'm not sure if this is really showing up. A little brownish and that, that color again, that purple color. So and this is a Sherlock Holmes John Watson ship colorway. And then the fourth one I got is called Self Rescue Princess. And this one is dyed with her daughter in mind. And then the last one I got is the Amaka Makama colorway. Super fitting for right after Halloween. Yeah, so those are the skins I got from her and she sent me a big package of Speculatius cakes in, which is a kind of cookie you can only get around Christmas time in Germany. And I haven't found them here in our local grocery store yet and I'm just not the person that drives around for half an, for an hour or two and goes into every store that she can find to see if there's that particular cookie. Um, yeah, but um, those are the colors. I'm thinking maybe a faded project. That's what I thought when I was doing that. Yeah, and besides that, no, nothing male-ish. So with that, that's all the nitty content I can give you this time. Uh, so we just have the blabber segment left. So I did Vlogtober, um, as you all know, uh, I did that. It's actually quite fun and I really stuck with it and recorded every day. And I worked out a lot better than last time, I think. Um, um, I think I will do Vlogmas too. I have a few ideas to do. Uh, uh, for that, like a few specials, like yeah, maybe I'll let my husband Anthony take over the camera out for a day or in the weekend or something and have them do, or have him do a commentary to something. I don't know, I think that would be really funny. <laughs> um, yes. Like I already said, all my Christmases are in full force and I'm knocking them out and it's really fun. Honestly, um, yes. Like just going through and flying through them. That's just so much fun for me right now. And I'm like, I made a list with all the knits that I wanted to make, had to make if I would make all the Christmas knits. And then I asked family fr family uh, members, hey, if I need you something, do you want something knitted for Christmas? And, um, you know, everyone said yes. And I asked and that was nice because it just... Uh, knowing that the work I do is appreciated 
and uh, the work and the love you put in and they really want it. Both of my brothers-in-laws asked for blankets and I'm not a blanket person. They're giving baby blankets and that's about it. And they were like, we want blankets. The one you made for, for mom is so nice. I'm like, yeah, that took me almost two years to make, guys. <laughs> I hated it. Um, but yeah, so I did get little stuff. But yeah, that's super fun for me right now. Um, so, and like, like I said, I made a list with all the projects I wanted to still kind of have in mind to make this year. And give them a number and categorize them and see what's what's first on the to-do list, what's on my to-do list. And I still think I can knock a bunch out. I mean, it's only the beginning of November and I particularly pick small knits to make for everyone. Now, I'll probably do next year is um, uh, during the summertime, knit a bunch of socks and little things for, for Christmas. And because it gets so hot in here that I couldn't even make sweaters or anything like that. It's just too warm here in Italy. Uh, but then I can make up, put them in a box, and add things to it throughout the year. That's kind of my plan for next year. If I have some nothing particular in mind, then I'm just going to be like, Oh, I'll make a pair of socks for, or a hat for. And I like, always have yarn in stock for that, so. Yeah. Um... On my list to knit still this year is definitely the, the, the Tecumseh sweater by Willink Knits. So that's Caitlin Hunter. It's definitely still on my to-do list. And besides that, there's just little projects to pierce the socks for November and December and then the Christmas gift, like I said. Um, I also am currently updating my Ravelry inventory. Uh, I'm doing a yarn inventory in the house, see what I have, because the last time I did a big inventory was right before we moved. And I haven't really kept up with updating uh, in our Ravelry all, Ravelry all the time. And now I'm adding pictures and um, checking on what I have left and things like that, just so I know, because once the second baby is here. I don't think I'll have the time to do that and sit down and do that in peace and quiet. And I mean, I already know this will take me a while because I can only do this so, so much during the day. Be like, I can't sit down and focus on that um, for a whole day. And it took me quite a bit the last time. But I de-stashed a bunch of things, I gifted things, I threw things away that were just like itty bitty skeins. Um, so yeah, I want to update all of that and add pictures to it because Sometimes I'm out and about, or not at home when we go places, or when we're visiting family, then I can just look at what I have before I buy stuff, or see if something, you know, matches, and if I'm in the mood for a new project when I get home, I can be on wherever and go online on my phone and check what, you know, what I have, what does it look like, show me, you know. That kind of deal. I really like that. So, but I want to have the pictures for visual aid. Yeah, and then baby's doing very well. He's bouncy and growing. I'm getting a big old baby bump. <laughs> it's getting in the way now. Um, yeah, and I feel like I'm absolutely not prepared for it. Like last year around this time, I had. Um, a bunch of diapers and wipes already. I had all the baby or the baby clothes I had bought at that point or were gifted to me were already like washed and put away and right now half of it is still up in the attic. <laughs> it's just different with the second baby I guess. But yeah, we're all doing well besides that and yeah, with that I can end this podcast. I'm going to check back in with you guys in two weeks time. And I hope to see you all again. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Leave me a comment. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Bye, guys.